Hello everyone, my name is Upkar Joshi and today we are going to continue with our studies on banking and finance. Today is lecture number 2 and we are going to do chapter number 3 today and discuss the importance of life insurance. As we all know, life is full of uncertainties. The only certainty in life is death, meaning anyone who is born has to die. But the timing of death is not known and this is what causes stress and this is where life insurance can make a difference. Now as we have already discussed, the financial loss arising out of the death of a family member which means the financial contribution that this family member was making to the family can be covered by taking a life insurance policy. It may sound very easy and simple, but mostly I have seen people buy insurance for all wrong reasons. So let us now try and understand this. So if you know 10 people and ask them if they bought insurance, the answer would be affirmative. But if you ask them why did they buy this insurance policy? most of them wouldn't even be able to come up with a convincing reply. For that matter, बहुत सारे लोगों को तो पता भी नहीं होगा कि उन्होंने insurance क्यों ले लिया. Some of them would come up with replies like, my friend is an insurance agent, my father suggested, my relative suggested, I wanted to save tax, um, I, somebody suggested that I should buy uh, some tax saving instrument, therefore I bought insurance. Somebody suggested that I should start saving, therefore I bought insurance, etc, etc. Now this is where people go wrong. So before buying insurance, one needs to have the main financial plan made up. Then while analyzing the plan critically, one needs to figure out what can go wrong and the risks associated with the plan. In order to understand this a little better, let me try and take an example. So the example is like this. Suppose a small part of your financial plan is to buy a house worth rupees 1 crore. Now while doing so, you are inclined to take a loan of rupees 50 lakhs from your bank. When you go to the banker, the banker tells you that the EMI for a 50 lakh loan for a period of let's say 20 years would be something around 70,000 rupees a month. Now let us wait here and try and assess the risk connected to this plan. Now suppose something happens to the person servicing the EMIs and there is no one else to service the EMIs in the family. Then what will happen? Bank aega or makan leke chala jayega. And rendering the rest of the family members homeless. Now this is where insurance comes to the rescue of the family members. So let's go back to the example. If this person servicing the EMIs buys an insurance with the insurance cover amount equal to the loan amount and in case there is a mishappening, then the family members or the nominee uh, named in the insurance plan can claim compensation from the insurance company and settle dues with the banker. Now, 
in this example what we have learned is that if you have a complete understanding of the situation and you are also able to appreciate the risk connected with the main financial plan and then when you look at insurance you would certainly find an appropriate solution now let's take another example suppose the financial goal is children's education now you are able to make an assessment of the uh, expenses that you would have to make in future you also start saving small amounts on a monthly basis towards building a corpus which could be utilized for the um, education of children let's wait here and try and assess the risk so what is the risk in this situation the risk is that life is uncertain and in this case the parent is saving small amounts on a monthly basis so what if something happens to the parent here again life insurance would come to the rescue of the education plan of the children if the father while he is still saving smaller amounts on a monthly basis buys an insurance plan with insurance cover equal to the calculated target amount for education this insurance policy would give protection to the children's uh, education goal like an umbrella let us sum up so far we have understood what is an event what is insurance insured assured insurer insurance premium policy document we have also learned the three broad categories life insurance general insurance and health insurance and most importantly the importance of appreciation of risk and importance of insurance so now let's start the next chapter and try and appreciate types of risk associated with life so as i said life is uncertain the only certainty in life is death meaning anyone who is born has to die but the time of death is never known in fact i gave an example where due to the untimely death of the father the single earning member in the family the education of uh, his children got into trouble there can be other examples where due to untimely death of the single earning member in a family the survival of rest of the family members got into trouble or in a double earning family meaning a family where husband and wife both are working and both are earning due to untimely death of one partner important financial goals like education of children or building or construction of house gets into trouble
I am sure you must have realized by now that all these examples that I am giving you are connected with early death, untimely death of the single earning member or earning member of the family. So let's stop here and think what is the kind of risk that we are trying to point out. This risk that I am wanting to point out at is dying too soon or dying early. तो अब इस सिचुएशन में रिस्क क्या हो गया रिस्क हो गया रिस्क ऑफ डाइंग टू सून वेन आई से टू सून इट मीन्स दैट देर वर फाइनेंशियल गोल्स ऑफ द फैमिली एंड द अर्निंग मेंबर्स ऑफ द फैमिली वर वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दीज गोल्स बट डेथ हैपेंड मच बिफोर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ these financial goals so now let's move on to the second type of risk it is a general belief that a person works till the age of 60 and retires post that now if this person was working as a government employee then obviously government takes care of the post retirement expenses in the form of pension and uh, medical expenses etc but if this person was working in a private entity then there are no such provisions in general of retire of uh, pension or medical expenses etc so the questions that we need to ponder upon at this stage are what should this person do who would take care of the post retirement expenses how long would the savings that this person did while uh, earning would last so this type of risk is called the risk of living long yani agar retirement ke baad ye vyakti zyada varshon tak jeevit raha to apna kharch Which means medical expenses also. कैसे चला पाएगा Now this brings us to the risk number थ्री What we need to think upon is that as we age, our ability to do physical labor reduces. Secondly. would this person post retirement be able to maintain the same lifestyle that he or she used to while working mane ye vyakti kya usi tarah ka rehan sehan naukar chakar gaadi ityadi afford kar payenge पोस्ट रिटायरमेंट जिस तरह का वो जब काम किया करते थे तब मेंटेन करते नाउ दिस टाइप ऑफ रिस्क दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट और इंडिकेटिंग टूवर्ड्स इज कॉल्ड लिविंग वेल रिस्क मीनिंग लिविंग एज वेल एज दिस पर्सन वॉज और यूज टू बिफोर रिटायरमेंट और वाइल वर्किंग हैविंग डिस्कस्ड three types of risk we now move on to 
द फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ रिस्क एंड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस आई वुड लाइक टू टेक यू ऑल टू आवर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल of a small family of four members husband wife and two children uh and the unfortunate untimely death of the earning member of the family which means the husband due to which the um education of the children got impacted now just imagine in this case if the husband had taken some loans car loan home loan personal loan or credit card loan maybe wouldn't that be an additional burden on the family and just imagine if he had taken a home loan and due to the death income stopped and if there is no one else to service the emis the bank would come and take over the house just imagine the kind of impact it would have on the family the kids this type of risk that i am trying to hint at is called the loan cover risk so that completes our four types of risk i would like to summarize that we have done four types of risk today the risk of living too long the risk of dying too soon the risk of living well and the loan cover risk so having understood the four types of risk now we move on to chapter number 5 and try and understand how to cover the first type of risk which means the risk of dying too soon we would also try and understand the types of products rather insurance products available in the market which would help us cover this type of risk so just think and tell me what is your biggest fear i think the biggest fear that all of us have is the fear of death which means that most of the times we are only trying to deal with the first risk which means the risk of dying too soon and because of this reason we are unable to focus or even think of the other three kinds of risks so let's start with this risk only which means the risk of dying too soon and try and understand the products available in the market which would help us manage this risk basically there are two kinds of products available in the market which can help us deal with the risk of dying too soon the first product is called the term plan in a term plan a person pays a small amount as premium and in return the insurance company promises that in case of any mishappening the nominee will get some compensation as per the agreement terms now the points to be noted here are that number 1 the premium of a term plan is very low number 
in case the policy holder survives the premium payment term nothing is returned back to the person which means the money that is paid as premium is not returned back and can be considered as an expense now obviously some people might think that this is a waste of money some people may not be satisfied because their money is not returned back therefore there is another variant of the term plan which was introduced and this variant is called t r o p which means term with return of premium now in a trop plan the premium is more than what one would pay in a term plan this extra premium that is paid to the insurance company is invested by the insurance company and the profits that the insurance company earns by way of investing is returned to the investor in the form of return of premium so this brings us to listing down the similarities and differences uh, between a term plan and a trop the similarity is that both are pure risk cover plans the differences are that number 1 the term plan is a pure risk cover plan and in case the policy holder survives the policy term the premium that he or she had paid is not returned back to the policy holder on the other hand in a trop the policy holder during the term of the policy gets the life cover and in case the policy holder survives the policy term the money that was paid by the policy holder in the form of premium is returned back to the policy holder the second difference is that the premium of a term plan is less than the premium of trop so now if you are thinking that your money is uh, taken invested and upon maturity only the premium is returned back to you no other benefit then let me tell you that you would have to accept ye aapko manna padega that there cannot be any free lunches which means that there is a cost for everything and therefore there is a cost of providing life insurance to you this cost is called the mortality charge now besides the mortality charge a policy also has administrative charges as there is a lot of administrative work that goes behind issuance and servicing of a policy additionally there is also a service charge now if i were to add up all these it would be a summation of mortality charge administrative charge service charge and marketing expenses now all these put together would always form the basis of any kind of policy i would also like to bring to your notice that especially in case of a trop or other plans where your money is returned to you the insurance company has to make additional expenses 
uh, in the form of hiring a fund management team, registrars, um, depository participants, etc. And these costs would also have to be borne by you. Mind you that these expenses are over and above the expenses that we already listed. So it is only after all these expenses and so many efforts put in by all these teams that your premium is returned back to you. Now if you are thinking that what is the point in putting in so much effort and money and eventually I only get my premium back and no profit then let me tell you that those kind of products are also available in the market which we are going to study in the coming classes or sessions. So now let's sum up what we have studied today. We have studied the importance of life insurance, four type of risks namely the risk of dying too soon, living long, living well and the risk connected with loans. Further we tried addressing the first kind of risk and in the process we learnt about term plan and TRO.